All right, in this video, we're going to discuss are we in the midst of another ammunition crisis and panic buying spree, or are you guys being swindled? Okay, all right, so I've been reviewing firearms and stuff the past, say, three, four months, and I mean, there's been heavy rebates on everything brand new firearms. Even Berettas and stuff. Uh, I had a couple examples. But ammunition also. Winchester ammunition. And uh, I don't know if any of the other U.S. brands had rebates. But Winchester ran a program of rebates on their ammunition. And Winchester currently makes U.S. military grade ammo for the government. And this here I bought several months ago, M855 5.56 ammo. It's the green tip 62 grain bullet. The one rifle I have prefers this. Now, back before the last huge crisis, I bought a lot of 55 grain ammo that, I mean, it was dirt cheap. And this Lake City ammo used to go for just under $400 for a thousand rounds loose packed in a box. I remember that for all this nonsense started. Then it went up to $800 for the same thing. And uh, I heard people during the crisis were paying for the green tipped ammo a dollar a round. Okay. So you see it all over YouTube. Everyone's saying, well, first of all, uh, the president said no more sales of this GI grade ammo to civilians. That's going to stop. Now this kind of coincides with this giant rebate program that Winchester had. Actually this, I bought this at a big box store on sale. And I think I paid in these, and this is commercially packaged. This is not the way the, the government gets their ammo. This was packaged and sold for commercial sale. Now when you bought a case of a thousand rounds of this stuff to get the rebate you would have to cut all them little uh, tags, the little UPC codes I think, is am I saying it right? Yeah. You would have to cut all them little codes off all the boxes and mail them in for the rebate. Now a week, and this was the end of last month, days before a company said we got a case of a thousand rounds and the product number, you know, is listed there. You get that, you get two packages inside the case that are uh, 500 rounds each, loose packed in a box. And I said, okay, I'd buy it. So what I ended up paying in the end, if I get the rebate back, the rebate was like a little over $100, I'd end up paying almost what it was, and I don't know exactly, it's under 400 so it's like three, uh, 375 or 380 That's back to what the Lake City Ammo cost before all the nonsense started. Okay? So, everybody's out there making a video. The president said no more sales of this ammo to civilians. Well, you can go out and buy this PMC ammo, which is basically the same. I made a video because I was curious. I couldn't find the Winchester. Okay, it would sell out. And I wanted that M855 ammo, so I went and bought some of this just to test it. And I was thinking of getting a case of it. I did buy a case for a friend of mine six months ago, and uh, I forget exactly what I paid, but I'd say somewhere, it's over 400 bucks. Okay, 400 and some change. So, not too bad, all right? So, you can get the comparable thing. So, all right, so the president goes, hey, uh, no more sales of this to civilians. You can buy the same damn thing. Now, I looked it up just now, a case of this is 590 some dollars. Okay, almost 600 bucks for this ammo. You know, and you can still buy it because it's not government issue or not made for the government. So, I'm thinking to myself, Everyone's making a video, uh, you know, hey, the president said this and that, and the prices have shot up instantly. 
Now, the reason they're given a rebate, Winchester doesn't give you a rebate because they feel generous. They're issuing rebates because this stuff is not moving. They're not selling it. Inventory starting to pile up. That's why the factories give you some what of a rebate to entice you into buying their product, to get it moving, to get you know money flowing again. Uh, so we were in a glut weeks ago, three weeks ago. Okay, and now everyone's saying, you know, like with 9mm, a guy made a video, this is this Max Tech, and when I bought this, it was almost a year ago, right after things started cooling off, and I think for this and another case I bought, it was 389 or something, was under 400 for a thousand rounds, and this ammo really didn't quite satisfy me, but the foreign made ammo, the Oshi, this, and uh, that normal range and training, whatever that stuff is, I'm not quite sure. I think the box says it's foreign components assembled in the U.S. All right, not really my favorite ammo. Some of the guns I have will run this stuff without a problem, but some of them uh, I get light strikes and issues with, okay? Depends on the gun. Fortunately, I have enough firearms to where I know which ones will run this without a hitch. And I do have a pistol that will run any of that stuff. Um, so this stuff was hovering. The one place I'll use it as a, a gauge. 9mm was at 3... What was it? 349 or 359. Yeah, it was 359 for a case, shipping included, but they charge you sales tax. So depending on what state you live in, you're going to get bumped up a bit. So the same company puts out a thing saying, hey, look, we got these shipments of 9mm, and they had uh, the stuff that I know works in just about any gun is Blazer Brass, and that stuff is comparable. It might have been a little bit more, $10 more a case or something, but it kind of sold out, okay? I know some people don't like blazer brass, but for me it works fine. So they put this thing up and they give you this whole paragraph and they're telling you, we just got a shipment of ammo in and now they lowered the price to, uh, I think it was three thirty nine dollars for a thousand rounds with shipping, which that's pretty good, and I kept saying, you know, if you guys need ammo, now is the time to pick up a case or something, and that. So I was browsing through YouTube. I seen this numerous videos that President Biden said no more military ammo sales to civilians, and then I seen another couple videos, and several people have said with this ongoing wars. You know, now we got two wars. I ain't going to mention them because I don't want to get gig. Uh, and they're saying that these wars are, are consuming all the ammunition. And one guy started a video saying that, you know, he's holding a box of federal 9mm shells up and he's saying, hey, look, these foreigners or foreign buyers are buying up our ammunition supply. Well... Military ammo is usually produced and packaged in a different way uh, other than civilian commercial sales. So, you know, I get another sneaky feeling. It's kind of a bullshit call. You know, I, I don't actually believe that things are so bad and production has been so low and there's such a shortage that foreign countries are buying uh, civilian supplies of ammunition, okay? Granted, in a crisis, yes, in, in, in war, you know, if, they, if it's available on the market, they'll, you know, take it. But how true that is and how it all of a sudden happens when they've lowered the prices, like I said, to $239 uh, a case for Fioshi. I went and checked today, Fioshi, that same case, the same ammo, is two eighty nine a case. So it's a fifty dollar difference in a matter of two weeks. Now, do I believe they sold a tractor trailer load of nine millimeter in a slow period in two weeks? No. Okay. 
but the hype is out there. How true it is, I have no idea. But I doubt very much this conflict. Uh, it's mostly missiles, bombs, and stuff like that. I, I don't really believe there's a lot of pistol shooting or small arms being used. Um, but now, it's inflated the price again. So, my call is, it's another panic, and, and it's like when people see this and people keep putting this out, oh, the war, the war is draining all the material, it's draining all the ammunition, and people were predicting that this would happen. But who know, who knew that there would be another conflict just starting, like, out of, well, to us, out of the blue, I wasn't thinking about it, but it happened. Okay, so it must mean that people knew this was going to happen. And now... Again, like the volatility, like I said, you know, now your price has dropped and in two weeks it shoots up. We got the volatility of commodities once again, okay? Is it real or not? I don't know. But last month should have been a time for you to stock up on some ammo. Uh, I have a good supply of it. And because if I look back for the past five years and the round count that I used in defending myself with a gun is zero. Okay? And if you're not responsible enough to know, regardless of the price fluctuations, to have some ammunition on hand, you know, not like 10,000 rounds or something, but if you could afford a case or they sell it half case, buy 200 rounds, buy 500 rounds. Okay? Like I said, have something. Okay, but you, you don't have to go crazy and buy 10,000 rounds. And now, are we going to see scalpers again? Hey, you know, I paid 10 bucks. Now I need 20, you know, if you can get it or whatever. So it opens the whole door again. I think it's a calculated scam to rip us off and just create more confusion and mayhem. More panic, more fear, and everything else. I really don't believe that at this point, right now, that there is a shortage of ammo. I think it's just stocks wasn't, or the inventory wasn't moving. And now they just put some hype out, jacked up the price, and then now they're going to get the stuff to move quick. Alright, that's my opinion on it. Alright guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned.